card for from Unhinged called Manuscrew. Manuscrew. You just have like a screw in. Yeah, that was a six. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't feel very high. We never did put together the breakfast list. We, it's on a, it's on our list of, of decks we want to like throw yeah. together at some point. I thought we were gonna be able to do more than one, but it seems like we should do one a week because last time we did food chain and it was you know just the right amount. Yeah, we're also like practicing for the GP, so it's like we want to play like real like yeah the decks, decks that we want to play you know. Like, well, I I just think we we, sh we should just be playing decks that we'll actually see in, in the tournament. Yeah, and that's how I keep advertising this too. Is GP yeah, testing, so, yeah. yeah. We'll get, we'll get to it though. Yeah. Like maybe on like a weekend stream if, if we ever get a weekend stream in. Yeah, we haven't done that in a while. Well, it's like not only are we practicing, there's just a GPT like every weekend, that so it's true. like. Uh, <laughs> and then there's family life work. Girls yeah, like we're not who has gonna, that? Yeah. <laughs> and we're not gonna be able to go to Fire and Dice this weekend. Me neither. Yeah. Too much magic going on right now. I mean, I mean it's great though. There's a lot of legacy that's, that's going on. That's a great problem to have. Yeah. yeah. Awesome problem. I mean, it just, oh, I just it's geez. nice not having to uh, worry about buys, you know. <laughs> Hero. <laughs> Womp. Hero, you're in there. You beat both of us. I know. And he oh, lost the hero in that yeah. GP. <laughs> it's like, oh. By proxy! <laughs> yeah. Uh, just cry? At least I lost the winner. I'd like to play Stompy against uh, TNT too, if that's cool. Sure. Yeah. Doesn't have to be me playing it though. I mean, even if. I, I mean, I'm probably taking off after this yeah, match, so. I, I figure that's. Uh, I mean, there's no real way for them to deal with Ensnaring Bridge. Other yeah. than, like, I guess Flicker Wisp. Yeah. Do you have Disenchance? Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe not in this list, but my. Um, I mean, you pretty much would. My 75 would edit it correctly. I would have at least one. Uh, noble. Uh, no, yeah. Go ahead. Or would you play the. What is it, Leon something? Lean and Arbor? Yeah. Um, I don't know, that card seems kind of bad. Nope. You can tutor him though, that's the only advantage, right? Yeah, but then he makes your, your tutor Good. effects bad also. Like, if, if it didn't hurt you at all, I think you'd play it. Um, what do you guys think about, um, like, would you still play the black version or would you play like a yep. red version? I mean, Harsh Mentor is not really that, like, groundbreaking, okay. but it still seems like a decent card. Yeah, um, I, I think it just depends like, on cool, what you think you're cool. going to see there, right? Uh. Yeah. Like, if you, I mean, Good. Elves is a really bad matchup for D&T, and the, the hypothesis is that Elves are going to see an uptick, so maybe, but... Mentor still, it hits, like, a lot of their cards, right? Like, every time they symbiote or add mana... That's true. They, they take damage, so it's not like a terrible card against them. Yeah. yeah. And then Blood Moon, like Blood Moon sure. effects are like okay against them sometimes. Is Harsh Mentor is if it's not a mana effect, right? I'm not sure. I thought it. Uh, I, go ahead. How maybe, do I, how maybe, do I maybe you're right. I maybe I was uh, what is mistaken. It? How do I look? look at the end of your draw. Uh, uh, it's you draw uh, it. exclamation point card and then space and then the oh. name. At the end of your draw phase. So oh, draw card. He just did it. Okay. Uh, whenever isn't a mana ability. Okay. Something. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So the but it it would hit symbiote, fetch lands. And then uh, the elf that untaps lands, right? Did they play that elf? Targeting you. Or that untapped a forest. Yeah, Aquarian ranger. Yeah, because it's not a mana ability. Yeah, yeah. Technically. Uh, Flickerwisp can go to the bottom. And then it's a deathrite shaman because yeah, deathrite yeah. shaman is not a mana ability technically. And it hits its other abilities if they ever yeah. do it. <laughs> does not hit planeswalkers. It does not. Yeah. That'd, that'd be insane. Doesn't no. it? Doesn't it enchantments if like there's like a random enchantment that has an activated ability on it, which yeah. is not relevant, but it is if they if they have an enchantment that's uh, turned into a creature by opalescence. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Okay. 
Hmm. You don't double block it. No. I mean, I could probably block with Death Rush on him. But. Well, I'm saying double, so he can't protection. Oh. Because uh, no. then it just dies for sure. And it taps the mother. That's pretty good. Um, swing trigger. Zero six. Yeah, you got a block for sure and protection. Yeah. And what are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? Yeah. Mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sure. like, uh, go ahead. Still stops this guy, right? From the mana abilities? Yes. yes. Okay. So. You name Noble Hierarch? Yes. I would have liked to have named Sword before you put it up. Sorry. Uh, draw. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you just cast it? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was planning on it. Something happened along the way. Force <laughs> Yeah. Well, the idea is, yeah, it's uncountable if I wait. Not dead yet. Two, four, six, nine. Do you want to do it? Yeah. I mean, you're attacking for lethal. Okay, hold on. Your protection from green. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm okay. Exactly. So six. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Drain him and stuff? Or do you just no, play, you I just play, play it? Yeah, I just yeah. play it. It's not bad. Uh, we'll swing at you. Uh, sure. Doesn't it still die? It's a three. Sure. 
What is uh the what is this on? No the higher. Oh higher, okay, yeah, sorry. Nothing. Wombo combo. Can't get it done. Isn't it better to just put it on the The click? Yeah. Alright, sure. Just because uh, then you can have two blockers. That's true. Alright. Uh okay. I mean he's wiping yeah, yeah. his board. I'm wiping his board, yeah. <laughs> Swing, uh We'll shoot two, draw a card, three, four, you take five. Mm. And kill those other two guys. Kill those two with the GTA. Fucking insane draw. Insane. They went dead. Dead? Fucking dead. There's no coming back from that. You flipped There's no coming back from that. 100% sure I lost that the, game. The right only there. one that Gear went out would have been Flipperless, no. and then at no. his end no, step. No, there's no, there's no out. What do you mean? Flipper was not allowed out because I have nothing on the board. No, you. No, you, you end at his end step. You flick his GT, and then you. No, no, no. Through the, through the uh, after it's like attack, flick his uh, instant speed, flick his click out. Uh, if he didn't move his equipment, I, yeah, I'd have to probably. Yeah, you'd have to move equipment around, but then you can still f just flicker whichever one um, d has the GT on it, and then block the other one with with that, and then I don't know. It's like it's unlikely, but I, I was thinking at end step you 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 violent flicker whips you flicker the G take so you can't gain the life or you can respond N not not with the vial yeah you can respond to the coming to play trigger oh okay yeah also the yeah it's like eh. I mean I don't think yeah I mean it's rough it's bad I mean it's fine to scoop that was like a fucking crushing draw. That was it. I mean, you searched well, for it. Well, I searched for it with this. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was the stone. You board. drew that right out of the middle of your fucking deck. That's, <laughs> that's pretty fucking crushing. Cheating. Cheating. Just take out. Okay. But I what? also have to be so player? increase in the Edomonio. Uh oh. What co uh, colors are blue, white, and splash black? Do I even care about Force of Will in this matchup? Don't I just board it out? Like, Force of Will just seems bad. Or was it? Force of Wolves? Yeah. Right? Like, you just take it. Probably. A, yeah, and just take a, a Force I mean, of what are you putting in? And then the last days. Sorry. What are you putting in? Uh, the Zealous Persecution, the Fourth Sword, the Plowshare, and then I think Thought Seasons might be better. You can just get, grab equipment with them. Ninjutsu Kid, what are you playing? That's right. fine. I, I mean, mean and then uh, like the Containment Priest is, like, not terrible. Okay. Against, uh... That's true, Vile. Vile. Is this? Are you just turning ninjutsu kid? Are you just turning like a miracles deck into something else? Breakfast. What? I didn't see this breakfast list. What is it? Stuff for the breakfast. So it's just um, one in a blue for it's like a random cephalid creature, and then whenever it becomes the target of a spell or ability, that ability's spell or ability's controller mills three cards. So you just get any any like random card that can. Be Target it a million times, and then you just flip your whole deck, and then you like Narc Amoeba into um, Dread Return into you know whatever your win, your win condition is. Yeah, I'm, uh, probably Laboratory Maniac, right? I think it's Lab, lab Maniac. Yeah. yeah, and then you like you Dread Return the Lab Maniac, and then you draw a card somehow. Yeah. Oh, the Cephaloid, I think draws cards. So it's just like mm -hmm. another version of Dredge, then. Malice Dredge, kind of. I mean, it's it's more combo -y than Dredge, yeah. Well, it's not manalist, but yeah, it's just it's just a different. It's a it's a deck that was like around before Dredge was even a thing. Oh, okay. And it was I think it was ex an extended deck before like Legacy took off. Yes, it was. It was called uh, Cheerios because it played a bunch of zero drops. Oh, well, that's a different deck. Oh, uh, this one's Cephalid. It was called Cephalid Breakfast, and it uh, just yeah, kept the, the Cheerios one. It just played all the walkers. And all the yeah. It just plays all the zero drop like creatures. Are people even playing that in modern anymore? No. That's kind of like the flavor of the week, right? I guess. Just everyone's playing Death Shadow, right? Is that what everyone's playing? <laughs> on? So he, he wants to replace Winter Orb with something. Uh, in white. Sabo's web. 
It's a terrible card, honestly. That's actually a really good card. I might um, get Crush Heroes about curse, life one day. Curse Totem? Curse Totem's really good. It's I love, love Curse Totem. Yeah, the Curse Totem's my, like, my favorite card, honestly. Uh, yeah. I crushed Hero Spirits one night with um, Sama's Web playing Infect. <laughs> he tapped out and I played him. I didn't even care to take my cantrip. I missed it. I'm like, I'm still one. Oh, all your blink bots on untapped? That's right. Ink bots, whatever. It's pretty funny. Yeah, Sweet infect deck of blink moth. <laughs> pump your yeah, ink. Pump my luck. ink moth. Just run the the eight. Yeah. Eight ink moth plus a uh, mutavolt deck. Twelve ink moths. Topless miracles right now in the what is it, legacy classic? Is that what they call it? Uh, what what is it called? Pl uh, legacy Premier League. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but they get to change deck lists after the first round. Oh. It's weird. Good. I mean, you can just play Jeskai if you're like, if you have Tundras and Volcanics. Esper, Jeskai, Stoneblade. I think he was saying he, he was fighting miracles with mana denial. Also for that's, what the winner, that's what the winner oh, was for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are other like mana denial cards that are good, like back to back basics, to basics yeah. yeah. But I don't know how many basic lanes you're playing. I think back to basics is like a very underplayed card. Prince. It's like basically only in Merfolk at the moment. I mean, again, most blue. It's good against most blue decks, so it's like. Yeah. But like. Could you play it in? Um, sure. The Red Delver. Uh, you'd rather just play Blood Moon. Yeah. Because it just doesn't affect you at all. But I, I could see playing it in that over Blood Moon, like, because there are matchups where it's better. Like, if they're playing red, then Blood Moon's not as good. Okay. Uh, sure. Do you think that's cool here? I don't know, you gotta wait two turns. But I guess. I'm in the five mana range. I mean, I guess I can get forced, but you're right. Well, I mean, you still have to play it next turn and then do it the other turn. So you'd rather GTA? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, I don't. I'm not particularly saying that GTA's better, but. Yeah, we're going with Firefly, I guess. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Drain your cancel judgment. Um, 
Play Glorious Anthem? <laughs> I mean, what's what's the, like, what? Did he say what type of deck he's playing? Or he just said the yeah, colors, he, right? Uh, he's playing the, the Breakfast. Oh, okay. That's I didn't realize that was the deck he was playing, too. Okay. Um, I mean, just play, like, Spell Pierces, I guess, or, like, Defense Grid. Defense Grid seems, like, good right now. Chalice. Chalice for two. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think yeah. you can play that. You can afford to have that much mana open. Yeah. I mean, you're already playing Force Swing of Will. For one. Maybe, um. Go ahead. More Fluster Storms. Curse you're not one? playing some? Two. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will exile Swift Splashers. Mark. Yeah, I mean, four stage therapy. I mean, you could play Duresses or something if you really wanted to. Go ahead. I'm not a. Uh, why would you insert? I guess maybe because he's got sack fodder. But what? Any particular reason why you want to play duress over like a uh, inquisition? Duress. Um, I dress can hit like their forces and stuff, basically. Um, like you're not really worried about their creatures very often, so it's like basically you hit everything you want to hit with the rest. It's the same reason like Storm plays it, you know. Yeah. I forget what the new blue white. Split card does. Yeah. Take two. The rest hits Jace. Yeah. Activate. I mean, you could say. Uh, Frank's and Reserve are results. Um, I'll name. No, I'll play the one with choices. Uh, what do you make here, boys? That Frank's still the most relevant, or should I turn off the. Well, it turns off both power spells if we do that, so it's like a. Stun Forge. What do you think, Amber? Probably death right. Probably death right. Yeah, that's where I'm leaning. Alright, we'll turn off the death right. Okay. Thanks. Are you going to port upkeep? Bounce. Uh huh. That doesn't bounce just legendaries anymore. Yeah. Legendary okay. cards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's kind of dumb, actually. Why did they get rid of that? Um, just like flavor-wise, I guess. For seven. (laughs) (laughs) 
I don't see a blue white uh aftermath card. What you talking about? Shady aftermath. <laughs> 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 failure comply. That isn't that blue and red? Oh no, okay, Does not it is white. Yeah, you're right. So it's remand, but you don't draw, and then choose a card name, and they can't cast that card name. It's not terrible. And you can you can basically just cast it from your graveyard for one white. Yeah. So si basically silence from your graveyard for one white. Or meddling mage? You can meddling mage? Did you exile my shit? You can play meddling mage. Yeah. Alright, who's up? Uh, you you do exclamation point card and then you type the card. No, he did it. He did it. No, I did it. Oh, you did it. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. You, you just forgot the card. The card. Yeah, you're right.